The Tale of the Borrowed Bracelet Once upon a time, in a quiet little town, there lived a woman named Amanda. She was a simple woman with a modest life. Amanda lived with her husband, Logan, in a small cottage, and they both worked hard to make ends meet. One day, an invitation arrived at their home. It was an invitation to a grand ball at the town's most prestigious palace. Amanda was thrilled but also worried. She didn't have any fancy clothes or jewelry to wear to such a grand event. She turned to Logan and said, Oh, Logan, I wish we could go, but I have nothing to wear. Logan thought for a moment and then said, Don't worry, Amanda. We'll figure something out. Let's visit your friend, Amelia. She might have something you can borrow. So, Amanda and Logan went to visit Amelia, who was happy to help. She lent Amanda a beautiful bracelet made of shiny, faux pearls. It looked real and elegant, and Amanda was overjoyed. The night of the ball arrived, and Amanda put on the borrowed bracelet, feeling like a princess. She wore her best dress, and Logan wore his finest suit. They looked lovely together. When they arrived at the palace, they were welcomed warmly. Amanda felt like the belle of the ball, and she danced and laughed with joy. She even caught the eye of the nobleman who owned the palace. Everyone admired her beauty and grace. As the night came to a close, Amanda and Logan returned home, their hearts full of happiness. However, when they got home, Amanda realized that the bracelet was no longer around her wrist. She gasped and searched everywhere, but it was gone. Amanda was distraught. She knew they couldn't afford to replace the bracelet if it was lost or damaged. She cried and told Logan about it. He felt guilty for letting her borrow it, and they decided to look for the bracelet the next morning. The following day, they retraced their steps, searching the palace and the streets they had walked. But the bracelet was nowhere to be found. Amanda was devastated, and Logan felt helpless. Months went by, and they couldn't find the bracelet. Amanda felt ashamed to tell Amelia what had happened. She decided to buy a new bracelet without telling Logan. She took up extra work and saved every penny to purchase a bracelet that looked just like the one she had lost. It took years of hard work, but finally, Amanda was able to buy a bracelet similar to the borrowed one. When she put it on, she felt a mix of happiness and sadness, knowing the sacrifices they had made to replace it. One day, while shopping in town, Amanda saw Amelia again. She decided it was time to tell her the truth about the lost bracelet. With a heavy heart, she said, Amelia, I have to confess something. The bracelet you lent me for the ball was lost. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't find it. I'm so sorry. Amelia looked surprised for a moment, then she smiled warmly. Amanda, she said, you don't need to apologize. That bracelet was not real. It was just a piece of costume jewelry. I borrowed it from a friend too. I thought it would make you happy, and it did, didn't it? Amanda was speechless. She had spent years working hard and sacrificing to replace a bracelet that was never valuable in the first place. From that day on, Amanda and Logan realized that true happiness couldn't be found in material possessions. They learned the importance of honesty and the value of their love for each other. They lived a content and happy life, cherishing the simple moments they shared together. And so, the story of the lost bracelet became a reminder that sometimes, what we truly treasure is right in front of us, and it doesn't need to be shiny or expensive. Vocabulary Clothes 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 Pearls 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 Wrist 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 Street 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 Penny 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 Shopping Shopping Shopping